Hey guys, so I'm back with another Alchemy Stars video and I want to correct a statement I made in my last video going over how to use a controller with the Cloud Gardens because you can play Alchemy Stars in Bluestacks so I want to show you how to set up a controller using Bluestacks. First, you're going to have to get the newest version of Bluestacks. Make sure you're using Bluestacks 5 and that you're using the Pi version. So make sure you have Pi 64-bit Bluestacks 5 and it's fully updated. And that's all you really have to do. I'm not going to go over everything in this video. If you want to see like my opinion on playing with a game controller, the in-depth use of using a game controller, you can go and look at the other video I posted. In this one, I'm just going to go through how to set up a controller in Bluestacks. So to set up a controller in Bluestacks, your icons are on the right side of the screen. So you just have to click on game controllers, which is the keyboard icon. And then this window will come up. And on this window, you want to go all the way down to the bottom where it says Controls Editor and click on that. And it's going to bring up this screen. So as you can see, I have a bunch of buttons program. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new profile and we're going to go through this together. So in order to program the buttons, make sure you're on GamePad. And then on the screen, just go over the icon that you want to put a button. So I'll do one for running. And we're going to click on the screen and that window is going to come up. And then you just push the button on your controller that you want that to be assigned. So I made mine R1. So over here, we're going to have the tools icon for fishing, the axe, the shovel, all of those. So we're going to assign a button to that. So I'm going to click on the screen. And then in this window, I'm just going to hit the button on my controller that I want that to be. So I'm making it the square button on my controller. You can use whatever buttons you like and that you feel comfortable with. This is just the setup that I use. So for analog sticks... What you need to do is you pick up the gamepad icon and then make it line up the best that you can over this as perfectly as possible. And then there's a little gear icon that you need to click and then select left stick. And this is going to change it to a left analog stick. And that's all you have to do. So to make the screen pan left and right, to change the camera angle so you're looking around, click on free look and drag it over. And we're going to place it right over here. You have to assign buttons for each of the directions. So on my right analog stick, I'm just going to push all of the directions and make sure that it's perfect and that it says up, right, down, left. And that's all you have to do for that. I like setting one for the map. I also like setting one up for the bag and for the quests. I also like setting one up for the back button just because it allows you to exit the map and that stuff without having to use your mouse. And that's really it. You can assign buttons for every single one of these. You know, your only limitation with this is the amount of buttons you have on your controller. And that's about it. So once you set all your buttons, you just have to click save to save what you did. And then to exit out of here, you just go over to the X mark, hit that, and it's going to go back to your game screen. And now you also have to go right here and make sure that you select your scheme that you did. And right here for controls for, hit the gamepad button. And then this may be on. I lower the opacity all the way so the buttons aren't on the screen. And then you can just click off of that. If for some reason after setting this gamepad up, it doesn't want to work, just restart the emulator and then the game controls should work. So the other thing that I want to show you in terms of programming buttons is this. So if you want to set up buttons for talking to your Rorians, just click on the game pad and we'll go into the editor. And then we're going to put a button right where the talking is. And then I'm going to save. And now I'm going to talk to her. And all of these options, you can actually set buttons for these. So we'll go back into the editor and what I'm going to do is you're going to want to put the button pretty far over like right here in this vertical line because some of the options as you can see are shorter than these longer ones and if you put the buttons here it won't work. It's not going to click that option because it's not long enough. So I like setting the buttons right here and what I like to do is you just click on the screen to add a button and I use the D-pad to do this. So I go up, left, down and Right. And that's all I do. And then you can just use the D-pad to go through all of the talking options when talking to the Aurorian. And you can talk to them entirely using your controller without having to use your mouse at all. So just remember to click save and then we can exit out of here. 
And now I can go through all of these options just using the controller. For this part, you obviously just click whatever button you selected for the tools because that's the same as left clicking your mouse. So you can just click that button and I can go through all of these options and that's really it. Then you can just basically do everything in the cloud gardens using your controller and then just using your mouse sparingly. And it makes the tasks and everything way easier doing it this way. I feel that it's more leisurely and fun to do it this way. You know, if you want to build anything, that's when you're going to want to use the mouse so that you can move the screen around and be able to do this. But setting new trees and stuff, you could just use the mouse to do that. But other than that, you can really do everything else just using the controller in here. And I find it to be a much more leisurely way to play. And I find it actually more fun to play it this way than just using the keyboard and the mouse. So I wanted to make sure I went over this so you have another option for how to play the cloud gardens using a controller and go through the blue stacks method of using it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.